Unit 4. Lesson 4. Photovoltaic cells. Energy source of the future. As populations increase and countries industrialize, the world's demand for energy increases. Our supply of petroleum and gas is limited, but the photovoltaic cell offers a solution to the problem of a future energy shortage. This cell is already an important source of energy. In fact, it seems almost like magic. The photovoltaic cell changes sunlight directly into energy. Solar energy, energy from the sun, is clean, easily available, inexhaustible, and free if the equipment is available. Did you ever reach to open the door at a store or hotel and see it open by itself? Does your camera always let in the right amount of light for your pictures? These are examples of uses of photovoltaic cells. They are also used in calculators and watches, in remote telecommunication units, and in central power stations to produce electricity. Another important use is in the space exploration program. This program could not exist without the energy produced by photovoltaic cells. The photovoltaic cell is simple. It has transparent metallic film at the top. Below this is a layer of silicon. A metal base is at the bottom. The sunlight falls on the boundary between the two different types of semiconductors in the photovoltaic cell, the silicon and the metal base. A conductor is something that electricity can pass through. Water and metals conduct electricity, but wood does not. A semiconductor conducts electricity poorly at low temperatures, but when heat or light is added, conductivity is increased. As the light falls on this boundary between the two types of semiconductors, it creates an electric current. The sunlight is converted directly into electricity. One advantage of the photovoltaic cell is that its solid state, that is, there are no moving parts. Since there are no moving parts to break down, the cell will last a long time if it's protected from damage. This protection is important. If the top of the cell gets dusty, less light enters and the cell doesn't work as efficiently as it should. In addition, silicon is one of the most common elements in the world. For example, sand is made up mostly of silicon. At one time, the chemical preparation of silicon for use in a photovoltaic cell was very expensive. Now, the cost has gone down a great deal. Scientists have also found a way to produce silicon in long sheets, similar to the way plastic for plastic bags is made today. This is helping the cost of a unit of solar energy to fall even more. Today, there are large factories using solar cell systems in a number of countries. About 18% of the sunlight that reaches the photovoltaic cell is converted into electricity. This is a small amount, so many cells must be used to create a reasonable amount of electricity. However, technology can be developed to make the cells more efficient and raise the percentage of sunlight converted to 27%. What does solar energy mean to the world? Photovoltaic cells have several advantages over fossil fuels, gas, oil, and coal. Fossil fuels that we use today were formed from plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. Those plants and animals were able to exist because of the sun. Obviously, we can't wait a million years for more fossil fuels. The photovoltaic cell gives us the ability to produce energy directly from the sun. The sun's energy can be converted for our use immediately. At the present time, gas and oil are expensive. Developing countries cannot export enough agricultural products and other raw materials to allow them to import the fuel that they need to produce energy. At the same time, petroleum supplies are limited, and in a few decades, they'll run out. However, the supply of sunlight is limitless, and most of the poor countries of the world are in the tropics, where there is plenty of sunlight. The photovoltaic cell has another very important advantage. It's a clean source of energy. The fossil fuels that we use today are the main source of the pollution in our atmosphere. Although many individuals and governments have been reluctant to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels, there is a growing market for solar energy. 
There is even discussion of collecting solar energy on satellites and then beaming it to Earth. This process is called space solar power. If we truly want cheaper and better ways to create energy, solar power offers many possibilities.